sailing into Tangaroa. Yeah. Young and lively, dreams so bold, come heavy tidings will you never grow old. Like declining, who would want to hear? Fight in the pain, your fight to fail. I hope somebody's gonna come and guide you home, my dear. I hope they give you a fine set of wings and a song. Very spectacular cliffs, caves, rocks, igneous extrusions. And a song to sing that we. Duke's nose. Oh, you can see it now. You can see why it's called the Duke's nose. You sure can. Sweet melody, too short a song. There is no answer to whom it goes. Where are we going to anchor? So, what are we doing, Anna? We're about to climb. The Duke's nose. Let's go. <laughs> the nose. Scrambling up to the Duke's nose. To the battle with your demon Stay strong, you gotta win this one I hope somebody's gonna come and guide you home My dear I hope they give you a fine set of wings And a song to sing that means something Ah, Coven I think it's harder going down. No, have you been down? I no, think... not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be way harder you want to go next? going oh, down, but it, it's easy. Over to Philip and Lorna's mooring. Thank you, Philip and Lorna. Great sailors we met on the Cavalli Islands. And we're just going up here to Tangaroa. The township, their moorings up there somewhere. 7.30 Too bleary eyed to go on camera Gorgeous morning Oh 
for sale with some friends today. Yeah. Last night we had a lovely dinner with your good friends from... Yeah, from when I was living in China as an international teacher. My lovely friends Mark and Bridget. They've got a beautiful place about 15 minutes from here. Beautiful river frontage, um, five acres, had a lovely Indian meal. It's a good night. It was lovely. Yeah. Really nice. So, in conversation with them, we said, do you want to go out for a sail? They um, used to have, uh, Bridget's father used to have a boat, so mm. um, Bridget and her husband Mark and uh, sister Bridget's sister Rachel and their Rachel. little, their daughter Bobby Rose, she's 10. They're all coming out for a little sail, so yeah. we'll take them out the bay and outside hopefully and uh, Beautiful have a, day, have a day. For it too. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. The weather's switched yeah. on for it. Fango Wawa. Fango Wawa. Fango Wawa, Fango Wawa. Yeah. Morena. Morena. Morena from the beautiful harbour, Whangaroa, St. Paul's. And there's Tara Tara Te Maunga. And here we have Sailor Sam <laughs> and Emma. Oh, kia ora. Kia ora, yeah. <laughs> and Bobby <laughs> and Rachel. Kia ora. And Mark. Kia ora, Aussies. <laughs> kia ora, Aussies. <laughs> and we're heading out the harbour now. Yeah, there we go. No, <laughs> we're not. We're not yeah, at all. we've programmed that way. No. Are we? How are you going there? I'm loving Bridget? this. <laughs> Except that once we get close to that island, I'll need to hand it over. That's all right. We'll, we'll work it. We'll work through it. It'll we'll be fine. It. Oh, I need to keep pulling a couple of degrees. <laughs> Well, good, Spider. well spotted. Is that, a, is that a general rule about how many degrees, or does it vary for different conditions? On how, you, on how your sails are set up. Oh, oh is that for, it's the set of the sails? The foot 24 and the 5? No, that's wrong. You mean, oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. That's, the, that's, that's the depth. The speed. Sorry, and yeah. that's our, okay. that's our uh, speed through the water. Okay. This one, so that's which is the log. And then oh. this is our speed over the ground, which oh. is GPS. So if it's different, which it quite often is, it's because there's tidal movement. Well, or check out all these birds working. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't oh. it? Oh, wow. Emma, you want to catch another one of those fish you love? <laughs> you want to catch another one of those fish you love? Ahawai. 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 That's what we'll do. Ahawai. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Seems to be all Yeah. I wouldn't know, but every time we've caught one, it's been in one of these bits. Yeah. Yeah. You see all the birds, Bobby? They're fishing. Sheer waters having Big a feast, the seagulls having a feast. If we were quick enough, we could have a feast. <laughs> we barely need a rod, do you? Yeah, they take off. Grab net. Grab a few. Oh, yeah, that's oh. Doing really well there, Bridget. Oh, thank yeah. you. Bridget, what did you just say? I said this is the happiest I've been in a very, very long time. And is that, and that it's like dreams say? coming true. Oh. Yeah. How about that? It's as good as it gets. Yeah. Thank you, Nola. Yeah. You've done it again. Bridget on the helm, we've got about seven, seven knots consistently on a nice reach. Going around Stevenson's Island, that's it. Queen of the, queen of the day. Look at those birds in there, shearwaters all around us. How about that? What 
you reckon, Mark? Yeah, it's lovely just being here, isn't it? Pretty it's cool, mate. Amazing. I've never seen the side of the island before. I've fished around the other side of it. There we are. Hey! The sailors. Oh my gosh. Denim is a roller, hang a slow as it creeps into your bones. Hopes drifting behind your smile and mask, frustration, the questions you must ask. Why? 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 Well, I hope somebody's gonna come and We've come into what we're calling Fungo Wawa because we're just wowed by the place. It's so beautiful and stunning. But you live here and you've got a long connection with the place in the area. But I want to ask you why you love it so much, why you love where you live. Maybe in my teen years, early teen years, Dad brought our boat up here from the Bay of Islands. And because this is the he said it's the safest harbour in New Zealand. And then he ended up... And it had a pub. Yeah. <laughs> it's a catfish lodge. <laughs> and a pub. Yeah. And a the Hotel. <laughs> and anyway, he ended up just living over here. There's no house there. Right now. above the second wharf. Yeah, above that wharf. And he trapped the whole harbour, I'm thinking late 80s, April. Yep. For Pest control. Yeah, all on his own. He brought the um, Kahuta Powers back to flowering. That but doctor? We talked about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he worked for him. This was the happiest place that they were together, Mum and Dad. We lost them a month apart during COVID, the first lockdown. So that's why we are here. So it's a beautiful healing place for you. Yeah, well, in 1993, I lost a, a good friend too, and this is where I came. Yeah. And it was the best hotel ever when it was open, the Marlin yeah, Hotel. Amazing. The Marlin Hotel. Is it no yes. longer here? Just there. And oh, it's not a hotel it. anymore. Oh. That one there, that old building there. Yeah, and they had a parrot. Oh. What? There was a parrot there. They did not have a parrot. They did. Okay. okay. No, Bridget. There okay. was not a parrot. Anyway, so thank you, Sam and Emma, for taking us out today. And our healing just got amplified to the extreme. We had a fantastic time taking you out. It was an absolute magic day. So thank you for coming. It gave us a good excuse to go for sale. Thank goodness. I could <laughs> like tell. I, I mean, I could tell it was, just a, yeah. no, it was enjoyable for everyone. Good. Really enjoyable yeah. as I understand. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And the lovely Norla. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh. Beautiful yacht. St. Paul's walking track. Old hospital road. This is where we're going. So we've just met these guys at the top of where are we? St. Paul's. St. Paul's. Yeah, we just say Hatu Pauru. Uh, Hatu Pauru. Paul is Pauru. Hatu is Saint. Okay. Yeah, Hatu Pauru. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, so Samuel is Hamiora. So I'm Hamiora. 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 So can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, go for it. What do you love about living here? Ooh, just 
it's untouched you know it's it's not like other countries that we've been to you know even tessie it's it's similar i reckon a yeah. lot of that coast eh, yeah. is, is is untouched and beautiful but here you can't beat it you know we've been all around the world you can't beat home mate. it's pretty special eh? oh yeah mate look at it yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it <laughs> anything to add no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. Oki mai ki a hau hea ha te mea nui o te ao. Mā kua ki a tū he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. So that is, if you could ask me what's the most important thing in the world, it is people, it is people, it is people. Oh, no. As long as we all are uh, unified and get along. Like this now, you're from another country, we're from here, and you know, chill us. That, beauty. that is beautiful, man. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for that. Well, good on Jovan anyway. Jovan. Yeah. It's not nice. a Maori name, it's French. For some reason. <laughs> That's oh, great. This is Monique. 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 Unique. Lovely to meet you, Unique Monique. <laughs> well, follow you, baby. Take you care down. We just learned some Maori. We did. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's very really nice to meet that man and get some information. <clears throat> I like that he just spoke it and told us what it meant. That was lovely. Together. I got some limes, spotted a lime tree on the way up the hill, got some on the way back down in the dark, a bit hard to find, but I found some. Does that mean we can make margaritas now? We can make margaritas. Oh, Yay. no, we can't because we don't have any alcohol. Oh, no, this is a dry not. boat, Emma. No, it's not. No, it's, it's in the water, so it's not dry, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, you know what I mean. There's a tree across the road here. It's pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to go wide on your truck. I reckon. Yeah. We've been walking along this road for about 15 minutes. Back, that way and then back again. Haven't seen one car. It's pretty quiet. Ah, oh, Sam. So what's just happened? Well, we just were set to bolt to leave the spot here, which is near the marina. And uh, go for a little... Escapade. The motor wasn't going anywhere. We was in gear and nothing was happening. Um, so I've checked the gears engaging. It is shafts turning, but there's no power, which says there's nothing happening with the propeller. It's a terrible sort of a problem to have. Um, fingers crossed. It's not as bad as it seems at the moment. We'll see in a minute. And we were just talking about the fact that moments like this, when you're on the boat, something goes wrong. You need a word that gap between the moment you realize there's a problem and the dread of discovery that it's going to cost you a lot of time and money and effort to fix it. So we're kind of in no man's land at the moment. We're hoping for the best, but fearing the worst. Soon it will be revealed. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, the propeller's still there. The shaft spins when I spin the propeller, but I did find the nut was a bit sloppy, but I'm not sure why that would be because there's a pin started with the nut turning so unless the key or the shaft is slogged or something weird uh, I'm gonna have a bit more of a look try and figure it out okay so it looks like I have found the problem so it's not the shaft with the prop because it turned the prop the shaft turns here and look what's happening here I turn the prop here the shaft here nothing's happening here so I'm turning this, nothing happening. Under here, this shelf, which is our rubbish tin shelf, is some sort of joint thing. So I'm gonna pull that out. And here, this joiner is loose. So it's hanging on here, but it's not hanging on there. So I'd say they've worked loose and tighten those on to that. That's the problem. All right. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we can fix it. It's a better the outcome than the propeller falling off. It's certainly a better outcome <laughs> than the propeller falling off. There we go. In reverse. Like we fixed it. Big relief. So basically it was this needed tightening so come loose on these bolts here 
in here, just on this end, and I can see a fair bit of wear on the shaft. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, so if I can get the angle right, yeah, you might be able to just see it down through there. You can see it's actually been slipping and wearing that bit on the shaft. So lucky I caught it. Not too bad. There's still something for it to bite onto, but that's something to keep an eye on because um, in future. It's not the full shaft there now, it's worn the metal down a little bit, so it might not grip as easily as it used to. Um, hopefully, it'll hang in there. What do you think about that now, Emma? <laughs> I just said that is a big relief. It's that <laughs> what moment where you hope for the best, and this time, we got the best. High five, sorted. Phew. Phew. Let's go somewhere. Okay. Moving take two for today. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually moving now. Oh, we just filled up with uh, fresh spring water. Provided to us by the Kangaroa Coast Guard Association and ten dollar donation. So we've got this buoy and a hose and it's spring water. So you come up, you hook onto the buoy, you drop my donation, or you can do a transfer to the bank account, um, and then you can fill your water tanks. So we've got full tanks, fresh spring water. <laughs> What are we doing? It's so early, the sun's not even up. Look, where's the sun? No sun. We're, um, we're road tripping today. Road tripping? First time we would we have... We can't take the boat on the road. <laughs> well, my friend Bridget's very kindly offered us and Mark use of their car. So we're going to head up to the tippy top of New Zealand and check out Cape Reinga. So that's exciting. Haven't been in a vehicle for... Well, haven't driven a vehicle for three months. That's no, been a while, hasn't mm -hmm. it? So yeah, a different sort of day, fun day. Different sort of day. Um, so that's going to be exciting. And we'll see um, Cape Ringer from the land side. We've seen so much of New Zealand by sea. Mm. Um, and lots of it obviously walking, but to go somewhere like that uh, was such a beautiful opportunity. So thank you, Bridget and Mark, for the loan of the car. It's going to be awesome. Road trip stops. Where are we, Emma? We are in Doubtless Bay, just up from Monganui. You have no doubt about that? Yep. Pretty big. Almost to the very north tip of New Zealand, Cape Reinga. Two seconds ago we could see the uh, east and west sides. We'll see it again in a moment. And go up around the corner. Look how rough that sea state out there, look at the, the chop, the yeah. confusion in that sea, you can just imagine. It'd be much fun to sail through that spot. Here's some super interesting local history. crazy crisscross patterns in those waves. You can see what the sea state would be like. Young and life 
lively, dream so bold. Come in the tidings where you never grow old. Life declining, who would want to hear? <laughs> Joshua. Yeah. I've just met you uh, flying a drone and we we're picking your brains about drones. Um, You've given us heaps of great info, but you're from Canada. Yep. But you're living in New Zealand now in Gisborne. Yep. Um, what do you love about it? I love the climate. I really love the climate. It's beautiful here. You know, I love it. And, you know, Canada, you get the six months a year, you get winter. Here yeah. you get something like this even in the winter time you can go. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and, and I love the people. They're really friendly. Yeah. You know, easy going, but great to work with. Dancer. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. No worries. Thank you. No worries. It's pretty massive, isn't it? It's actually harder than it probably looks, right? Of crawling would be easy. <laughs> Good leg workout. Bye, Bern. <sighs> oh. more. Really? Maybe it looks so easy. I know. <laughs> Irina, who we've just met from Romania, shaking her head at us. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <sighs> See, there's more. <laughs> we didn't get to the top there. Totally joined Jens. Love the patterns. The patterns in this. So cool. Lawrence! Lawrence! <laughs> like sand through an hourglass, so are the days of our lives. That's what it means. What a cool name. You're from Romania. I am from Bucharest. Bucharest. What do you love about New Zealand most? Nature. Nature. I feel like it's all over Europe uh, packed in a small place. It's just ever changing. And I love the people. And I love the free public toilets everywhere. We don't have that in Europe. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to find the toilet to pee. Literally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's gold. Considerably. Hills. They're made of sand that was blown there from volcanoes, so it's like volcanic sand. And the Cape Ringa is amazing because of the tidal shift that's coming from the two currents that hit the top of New Zealand. Imagine the waves hitting each other, quite something. Glad we went sailing through it actually, I was quite happy to see it from the land. And then, uh, and then we went to Pack and Save and spent lots of money <laughs> on things for the crossing and for the next few months when we were in the Pacific. So we've got more stuff to pack into our hold spots, which half of which is under the bed. So we're not doing that tonight, we're going to do it in the morning. And then we had to pack it all into the little dinghy and bring it out in the dark, <laughs> backwards and forwards. Oh, we did in two trips in the end. Yeah, we, we did. Got all yeah. plus two jerry cans of diesel yeah. in, in two trips, backwards and forwards. The dinghy was pretty low. Lovely friends loaned us the car for the day. Sure, you know. We've just had dinner with them. 
and we were supposed to shout them dinner, and they turned around and shouted us dinner before we got a chance to. So yeah, that was very generous. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mark and Once Bridget. Once again, Mark and Bridget, <laughs> for your incredible hospitality. We are. Yeah. Now we've got the um, giant puzzle to solve. Where to put giant all this puzzle. stuff? Giant puzzle. And then tomorrow. We're heading back south a bit to back to the Bay of Islands. This is where the drawer goes in here, and then under the drawer there's a scap, so we can put stuff down in, into the floor of that. So this is um, a list of what we've stuck under here. Go, Emma. All right, so we've got three kilograms of rice, one jar of coconut oil, 27 cartons of soy. Milk. <laughs> soy milk. Um, we've got like 20 containers of coconut water, 13 cans of tomato tins, two bottles of wine, <laughs> three packets of nuts, two jars of two bottles of balsamic, two packs of Ovita, six packs of vita wheat and two packs of sesame oil crackers, big thing of honey, uh, six tins of beer. Is that all there is the beer? Yep. Where the rest are? Okay. In the fridge. Oh, in the What's fridge. What's left? There's only um, four others. Five jars of peanut butter. And four tins of sardines. Oh, man. That's us. There's a few holes. What else can we put in there? The plan today is to head back to the Bay of Islands. Not really sure what part yet, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Maybe Dove's Cove Marina to pick yep. up our bits of mail from our friend Daryl. Daryl mm. and Annie. But we've got a good reach. It looks mm. like the wind's just kicked in in the last 10 minutes we we're pretty much oh it was time to go nearly and and then the wind picked up so it was incredibly <laughs> still timing. this morning there's this there's not a breath of wind yes. there's just this sea mist just sort of hanging over the whole harbour it's yeah. pretty amazing really i forgot to film it it's like yeah. <laughs> i got some photos yeah. I'm just gonna drift back a bit. so farewell fangaroa long harbour thank you for everything Come and 